Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Carfix, and today I'm going to show you how to disable the day running lights on an F-150 truck. Mine is a 2015 truck. Uh, it was made in the U.S., but it was sold in Canada. So it has the annoying day running lights enabled, uh, and I live in Florida, so I really don't need to have my lights on all the time. And I took it to the to the dealership, and they said, "No, you can't disable this. Uh, it it is not possible." But I found out that if you have an USB adapter, uh, OBD2 adapter, and a force scan software, you can do it yourself. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So on some trucks, you have the option to turn this off um, on the dashboard, right? So you can go to settings advanced settings vehicle and lighting and you're gonna see an option to turn off the DRL so there's a check box and you can uncheck that and it turns it off but that's not the case for my truck like I said it was sold in Canada where you can't really turn off by law the DRL so we're gonna have to do this using a an OBD2 adapter and a laptop and the Forescan software. So I'm gonna unbox this B OBD2 adapter. I got this at Amazon, it's called BB Fly Pro and it costs about 18 bucks. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. And we're gonna need this adapter to connect the PC to the OBD2 port and the truck so we can run the Forescan software and disable the DRL lights. So hopefully that goes well. Um, so let's open, let's see what came inside. Yep, well it comes with a little manual, probably how to set it up in a, in a PC, in a computer, how to connect it. So we're gonna look at that in a minute. And the adapter itself. So pretty neat. Let's see how this works out. All right, so here's what I found out. Installing the driver for this device is a nightmare. So this is my first OBD adapter. So I'm not sure if this is just normal with every adapter or if it's just this one that I chose. So even though I'm gonna leave the link to this OBD adapter, in the description. Uh, you guys can post your comments, maybe you know of a better adapter. But anyway, this was a little bit of a nightmare. So let me show you how I um, overcame the challenge of installing the driver. So when you open their driver download web page, and I select drivers here, the driver button, for the appropriate model that I got. So I got the model here, which is, let me try to find it. Okay, so it's the BB Fly BF3 2302 adapter, right? So I go here to the equivalent in their web page and I click driver and it re redirects me to their driver download page. Okay, and I went here and I tried to download the 64-bit driver for the D2XX drivers. And what I found out, this is the driver for connecting directly to the USB port, and it doesn't really work. And what I found out is that if, if you download the VCP drivers, which is virtual COM port drivers, rather than the, the USB drivers, it works. So I tested on my truck and it worked. So I went here, I downloaded the VCP drivers. You have an executable file here. So you just click here. It's gonna download the executable file. And I already downloaded it here on my desktop area. So let me show you guys what I did. It's here, CDM21228 setup. 
So you have an executable file, or you have a setup file that you just follow the prompts and it's going to extract the driver. You just, you know, straightforward. Accept. Advance. Conclude. And what it does, it installs the driver, right? So when I go here to the drivers part of Windows, right? And the way you do this, you right click on your computer and manage devices. And it's going to open up this window here and you click on manage devices. And now the I can see here that there's a USB serial CH340 COM3 port. So what this driver does, it emulates the COM port and it connects to the OBD uh, adapter. So long story short, it works with the virtual COM port if you install that driver, but it does not work with the direct USB port. Maybe other uh, adapters are different, this one was a little bit of a nightmare, but I got it installed. I have the Forescan software loaded on my computer. So let's go now to the truck. Let's connect the, the computer to the truck. Okay, so you get the adapter and you connect it to the OBD2 port in your truck with the truck off. It's kind of snug, but it goes in like that. All right, now that you've connected the adapter to the OBD2 port on the truck, you're gonna run the Forescan software. So here's, it's, a, it, it's asking me if I wanna load a previously saved profile, I'm just gonna say no. I already used this to, to see a couple of things on my truck, so I already saved the profile. It asks me for the version of the sync. In my case, it's the sync 2. It's the one without the Apple CarPlay and it's gonna go on it takes a few seconds so it's gonna read the all of the modules uh, on the truck it's reading the power control module and and it goes on and we're gonna we're gonna use this module the body control module the BDY CM module now it asks uh, this vehicle might contain might may contain MS CAN modules. Does your ELM adapter have an HSMS CAN switch? Well, mine does, so I'm just gonna say yes. So please set the HSMS CAN switch to the MS CAN bus position and click OK. So there's a switch in the adapter. So all you have to do is just click it to the other side and you hit OK. And what it's gonna do now, it's gonna read all the remaining modules uh, the airbag module, the trailer module, so it's just reading every single module um, that exists on a truck. Alright, still reading. Okay, would you like to save the profile for this vehicle? I'm just gonna say yes. You should always save the profile so in case you make a change that you did not like or you just messed up um, you know, the, the truck for some reason, you can restore these settings, these module settings. Okay, now that I've saved my profile, I'm gonna go ahead and make the changes for the DRL lights. What I have to do is click here in the configuration and programming uh, button. And what you need to look for is the body control module it's this one the BDYCM module configuration um, the top one is as built format this one seems to have hexadecimal it's harder to to configure I wouldn't advise you to mess with that one unless you have advanced knowledge on how to change that but you can use this one the module configuration <coughs> and once you select it you just hit this run service procedure which looks like a play button and it's gonna ask set the HSMS can switch to the HS position so I'm gonna switch back 
to the old position I'm gonna hit OK and it's gonna read a lot of things in this module so it's reading all the module okay so this is the configuration page and the settings you need to look for in in, in my case my truck has a my key it has a smart key so it's gonna have DRL configuration by key so it has DRL by auto lamp key 1, key 2, key 3, key 4, key 5. Um, I'm going to change it for all keys. So what I do is you click, you highlight it, you click it once, then you go edit selected, and I'm going to change the in-op to disabled. Okay, I'm going to do that for keys 1 through 5. Disable. Edit selected. Disabled. Disabled. Okay, so once you've changed all of the keys to disabled, we're going to hit the right button, but uh, it might be the case that your truck only has one option for DRL lights, so whatever option is available in your truck, you just have to make sure that you go in it and you mark it as disabled. Now we're going to write, so I'm going to click right. When I click the right button, the truck is going to flash all the instruments. Uh, it's going to go a little berserk for a few seconds, but then it's going to settle down and the changes going to be made. So right, it asks me to confirm. Um, so all of the one through five keys from in-op to disabled. So you just want to make sure that everything is correct before you hit OK. So I'm just going to hit OK. OK. So blocks program successfully. Please cycle the ignition off and then back on on again okay and that's all there is to it so you can just exit the module you can close and let's check out the result all right so let's check out the results so as you can see the headlights knob is in the off position and when I used to uh, even in the off position or the auto position when I used to put my truck in gear either reverse or D um, it would turn on the DRL. So let's check it out. I'm going to put it in D. And yes, yes, the DRL is not coming on anymore. That is fantastic. And now I can just decide when I want to turn it on. So if I turn it on now, it goes on. There's a headlight and I turn it off. It is off, even with the vehicle and gear. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and hit subscribe so you get more videos. Thank you.